We are the farmers. Hello everybody, this is WA2GSR, Ham Radio YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your technician class license the best and fastest way for somebody who has no idea what this is about or if they just want to get their license in general. First, you're going to need studying material. You're going to have to, there's no way you can just wing it. Uh, you can't just take tests, I mean that will help, but you can't just take tests, you need to study. Um, it is going to be, it is going to take a, a little bit longer than, as for say, taking your general, because for general, you'll have some prior knowledge. This you'll need to really study and put in some time. It took me about a month to study, and I got it, and this was the best and fastest way, and that was on a busy schedule too. So you have no, if you have all the time in the world, it could take you much, much faster. The, there are multiple, several books out there, ARRL has a book, um, there are, uh, some other books out there, they all, uh, they're all good, but I personally think the best and most in-depth one is Gordon West's technician class book, uh, he makes technician, general, and extra, this is the best way to go, uh, so it's just the whole setup, how it is, just very, just, it's easy, it's nice, so, that's the first plus. Um, there, are, like I said, there are other books, but this really is uh, the most in depth. It's not gonna really sh teach you the best ways of how to get on the radio. It's gonna do the best way of how to get your license the best. Uh, not really doing the radio. You should uh, try and find an Elmer for that. Uh, but it's not really meant for that. It's more meant for getting your license. Um, there might be other books out there. I don't know. Uh, that are better for learning how to use the radio, but all I know is this is the best for getting your license. So, as like me, I had no education prior to this. I had no idea what or what this stuff was about, really. So I went in blind. It comes with a nice CD. You can listen to it. I downloaded it onto my phone so that I could listen to it on my phone because uh, CD really isn't, I guess, the best for me. I don't drive around. So in the beginning, it just tells you a little ham history, uh, different bands, different stuff you can do, stuff like that. Then it instantly gets into the questions. And it's nice. He has it nicely set out. Which agency regulates and enforces the rules for amateur radio service in the United States? That is the question. Then it'll say all three these are actual test questions these are the actual test questions um they're not diff they won't change them up they won't change the answers they won't change the question these are the exact questions you'll ask they might change around uh a you know fema they might put down here and fcc they might put up there but that's the only thing they'll change now they'll he'll start out with the question the answers and then he'll give you the answer at the bottom, but it's nice because he gives a whole paragraph he'll write or something he'll write about explaining why that is the answer. So let's get more into right here. This will be nice. If you don't know about this stuff, he'll tell you exactly why it's the correct answer. Now, personally, what I did was I found this instead of what I would do, best thing I did was I'd read through the book. I'd get through four of these sections a day and then be done and then I'd keep doing and doing it and I'd read through the book and I'd see how many times I can get through it that's how I studied what I did was the first time I went through and I went down answer D highlighted it so instead of going and looking and looking and getting distracted by other answers instantly I read this and I read this so I memorized it personally that helped me out a lot and it was easy also at the end it's nice because he uh he shows you, you know what uh, what you have to bring, what you need, what you'll get out of it, stuff like that. You're not gonna get your license instantly. It'll take about two weeks, um, but until you get your call sign, and you need your call sign to talk. But it is gonna be great, and then you can talk on one of these bad boys, which will be nice and fun. It's really uh really enjoyable. So this really is the best way, fastest way, for getting your uh your license really it is uh best way to get into it just getting your license i wouldn't say it's the best on teaching you the stuff but it's the best way to get your license. there's gonna be complicated stuff but really 
all you just uh you can only get nine ron and pass which is uh not that bad it's not that bad but uh, once you have it you have it for life you just got to keep renewing it and then i highly suggest upgrading to general uh extra is optional i will be going for it but general i'll we'll be doing a video about that eventually but it's just it opens up a whole new world when you get used to it but uh, then you can start talking on one of these or an HT. Best, a lot of people go out and get a Balfang to start off with. That's what I did. It's a great way to start off with, but it's really the fastest and easiest ways. When you start out, you'll only be allowed to talk on 23 centimeters, 33, 70, 1.25, 2 meters, 6 meters, and a tiny bit of 10 meters. And also, if you're a CW guy, you can do a little bit of CW on 40 and a little bit of CW on 15, and a little bit of CW on 80. That's really it. So it doesn't give you that much of uh, this, but if you want close distance, you know, stuff like that, this is the thing. So here you go. Really, the most popular bands are 70 and 2. Uh, 10 meters is pretty good. 6 meters is pretty good, but these other ones, they're not that used. Um, really, if you're looking for repeater use, 2, 7, D, that's the best way to go. But this is the fastest and easiest way to get your uh, license so i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you all had a good uh merry christmas and a happy new year and i will catch you guys in the next video